Hello, in this video, let us see how to graph this equation, which has all the features of transformation of a sine graph. Now, this is the general formula of a sine graph or a cosine graph. Y is equal to A sine BX plus C plus D. I repeat this. So, I have discussed this in the other video. So, this tells me the baseline. A is the amplitude. From A, you can decide the amplitude and from B you can decide the period and C from C you can decide the starting point starting point so these are the four features which helps you to draw the sine graph <coughs> so uh, let us start so the baseline is when you compare this formula with this you can compare your D with this formula. So your baseline is 3. Okay. The second thing is amplitude. That I want to find the amplitude is the coefficient of sine. The coefficient of sine is 2. So the amplitude is 2. Now this is a maximum. Maximum is baseline plus amplitude. So 3 plus 2 which is 5. And minimum is baseline minus amplitude, which is 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so let us say this is maximum, this is minimum, and this is your baseline. So baseline is 3, so this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So this is 3. The maximum is 5, so this is 5. Not drawn to scale. This is 5, you don't need to draw to scale. This is 1 and this is 0. My baby boy is crying. Okay, uh, so okay, so let us continue. So this is the x-axis and your y-axis. Okay, so now what do we need? We need to decide the starting point. Now to decide the starting point, uh, we need to set this whole thing equal to 0. So let me first change this into degrees. Pi by 2, pi radians. This is in radians. So pi by 2 is 90. So I'll write this in terms of degrees. That is two, 3 plus 2 sine half x plus 90. Just like that. Now to decide the starting point, you have to set this whole thing equal to 0. Now, if you know the graph of y is equal to sine of x or sine x, you know your sine graph starts at 0, 0. Okay? So, to find the starting point of this graph, which is transformed, uh, it has moved to the left, something to the left. So, we need to set this whole thing equal to 0. So, well, I can say, okay, so to decide the starting point, I will say half x plus 90 is 0. So I can say half x is minus 90. So x is minus 180. Okay. So your sine graph, instead of starting at 0, 0, it will start at minus 180, 0. <coughs> okay. Now period is, there's a formula, but you don't need to remember the formula. Though I'll give you the formula. The coefficient of x gives you the period. So this half Okay, now let me talk about sine x. Now, for whenever you have a struggle, always go to the basic sine graph. The, the coefficient of x here is 1. And you know that the period of sine graph is 360 degree. In other words, if you think in a logical way, for one full cycle, for a sine graph, you need 360 degree. Or sine graph repeats itself every 360 degree, the basic sine graph. So when you see the half, if a complete cycle, 1 represents to 360, this, uh, don't go, to, you don't use a proportion, but you have to think like this. Half the cycle is finished, finished within 360 degree. That's what it means. Okay, so if half the cycle is finished within 360, the full cycle requires 720. So there is a formula though. Uh, those are uh, like formula. So the formula is 360, period is 360 divided by B, which is the coefficient of X here. So which is 
360 divided by half and 360 divided by half is 720 degree. So you got a full cycle of 720. So if you do those who don't know how to divide 360 by half, you can do it on the cat. I've done this 360 divided by 0 0.5 or you can also go like this 360 divided by half 1 ABC 2. That's 720. Okay. So now the last thing that you need to decide is the scale. Now 720 you have to divide in four equal parts. So 720 divided by four, that's a scale, which is 360 divided by two, which is 180 degree. So you have to go a step or a scale of 180 degree. So these are the seven important things you need to find before you plot the graph. So yeah, this is zero degree. So I say, I'll say this is minus 180 degree. So this is 180 degree. So 180 plus 180 is 360 degree. And 360 plus 180 is 540 degree. So you have 540 plus 180, which is uh, 720 degree. So this is one full cycle. We'll check this on the calculator. So this is zero or uh, your origin. Okay. So as we saw, your sine graph starts at 180, zero. So this is where your sine graph, uh, so the sine graph starts at the baseline, okay? So 180, and it starts at the baseline, not zero, sorry. I said 180, zero. No, it starts at the baseline, okay? But because the sine graph has uh, gone three up, okay? So this is, this starts at 183, then it reaches the maximum at zero, then it hits the baseline at again 180, it reaches the minimum at 360 degree, and this is one full cycle. You can draw any number of cycles if you keep adding 180, you can get any number of cycles. So let me draw the graph, so the graph would look like this. So this is a positive sign graph, so it goes from baseline to the maximum, okay, reaches the baseline, minimum, and so this is one full cycle, okay. So here, let's check this on a calculator. So before, let's go to graph, and let me delete this. And before you go to the graph, always look at the setup. So this is in degrees, we're working in degrees. We'll change this into variance later. So degrees, that's fine. And now I'll type the equation three plus two sine bracket 0 0.5 x plus 90, okay? Now we need to change the scale. We need a trig scale from say minus 180 to 540 and a scale of 180 degree. 180 degree, don't change the dot. We want to go from zero to five. And a scale of one would do. Okay, so let us go to zero to six so we can see the whole graph properly. And then let us try it. So this is a graph, okay, can you see? So let us check. Uh, Okay, so if you want to see this on your table menu, go to your table menu, and I'll scroll this out, and to check your values, so set, I want to go from minus 180 to 540. Okay, so scale of 180 degree, step of 180. So can you see at minus 180, it is three, at zero, it is five, at 180, it is, Three again at 360 it is 1 and at 540 it is 3 so this is how you can check and so let me also show you on a graphic calculator on a sonic so I have to scroll like this on my calculator and then draw it okay so you can check like this max maximum is at 0 5 so you go maximum 0 5 gsol minimum is 360 1 okay and hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.